so I haven't really vlogged a lot this past week because to be honest I haven't really done much and I didn't want to post a vlog that was going to be really dull and boring and this is probably going to be dull and boring but if you want to know what I'm up to here it is also the temperature's dropped. I've had to like wrap myself up with my blanket so I'm really sorry about that. I'm bringing you some tartan because I really love tartan. Okay so the past week I've had a few days off, actually quite a lot of days off this week and barely anything to do. I've picked up one bank shift this week, just one, and the rest of the time I had a couple of appointments at uni so I had to go into uni, talk about a workshop that I'm going to be setting up. I had to go into uni and hand in my passport for the buddy week, which I'm really excited for. And then towards the end of the week on Friday, what did I do Friday? Um, fr oh, Friday I had my doctor's appointment, so I've been feeling really tired and things lately and I was thinking mm, I should probably make use of my doctor because I never go. So I'll do that since I've got a day off. But luckily I thought, you know what, I'll try and fix it if I'm tired and things, I'll try and drink more fluids, I'll try and eat more um, foods that have got a lot of, lot of iron in and things because maybe it's an iron deficiency, um, maybe I'll try and eat better, eat a bit more fruit and veg and things and to be honest it hasn't worked, I've been exhausted and if you're on my social media you'll see I don't post a lot after 9pm because I'm asleep. <laughs> I am KO'd and then I'm awake about half six, seven. But recently I've been getting up about 8 o'clock and I've been sleeping a lot so and then I'm still tired. I, I get really good night's sleep, I don't wake and I, I'm still tired so I, I did want to book in and just get it all checked out because you never know. So I went in, I had my bloods done and oh my god the doctor was so lovely and she got me sorted like that and she saw me holistically as well and it was just amazing to be on the other end of receiving good care if that makes sense and seeing what good care is. I told her my symptoms but then she was going around and thinking more open about it so she was asking about my social life, if I was stressed, if I had a lot going on, am I overdoing it, then she printed me off a load of mindfulness just in case because obviously then I told her I'm a second year student nurse and yeah <laughs> and that's when she thought she's probably stressed and to be honest it could be I do a lot and my mind is constantly on the go and mindfulness and meditation is definitely something I need to start doing a lot more of so I do need to incorporate that because I always give this advice to other people I'm like do you know what take some time out for yourself take temp I'm really bad at doing it myself and even though I have a day off and I'll sit down and I'll watch a movie or whatever my mind is still thinking oh what have I got to do next what have I got to do what well, could do a vlog on this oh yeah I can do this oh no I need to edit this oh my god I need to edit my assignments I need to revise it's a minefield so yeah, long story short, I had my bloods done. <laughs> she sent me straight round the, cor the corner to the hospital next door to my doctor's because they do bloods all day, every day. So she said, just take this round the corner, have them done now if you want. And I was like, what? I've never had that treatment ever in my life. Usually you have to sort of book a new appointment and go in like the week after for your bloods. I've never been told you can have your bloods done there and then straight away. That's really bizarre. So I was seen, I was sorted, I was done. And then she followed it with, I'm going to ring you on Friday and give you results. And I was like, what? What do you mean ring me on Friday? Don't I have to ring for my results? And she was like, no, I'm going to ring you on Friday. Um, with your results unless there's anything serious and then I might ring you before so I was like okay no problem thanks for that you're amazing I'm coming back to you so fingers crossed my bloods are okay although if my bloods are okay that means I am actually really stressed so I don't know which one I want more I, we'll, f we'll find out won't we, by the end of the week so then I started the weekend by revising I know let me show you actually let me show you my flashcards so I've made some flashcards at the weekend surrounding um, sepsis and DKA so these are my flashcards that I've done so far I don't know if you can see that I've only done a few I didn't overdo it with the revision this time because remember last time if anyone's watched my previous vlog I over revised and I was really stressing myself out so I've just made some basic flashcards so the signs of sepsis I've done one for sepsis 6 which is the six steps of managing sepsis basically. I have done a couple of little, oh, I don't know if you can see that, you can't really see it on the, like the screen keeps going funny. A couple of like care plans on managing sepsis and blood pressure. And then I've done a couple on hypervolemic shock and the stages of shock. 
Oh no, this one's um, hypervolemic shock and the compensation. So I've done cardiovascular compensation, renal compensation mechanisms and respiratory compensation. Then I've done stages of shock. So there are one, two, three, four stages of shock and the different types of shock on the back. And then I've done a bit about referred pain, um, just a little bit on referred pain and how you can get referred pain. That was really interesting, I loved that session. Um, and then I've gone into DKA, acidosis. Uh, that's a really bad flashcard, um, I sort of gave up on that one I think. But I've done this table and this table is really really good so basically it's all about the ph levels the co2 levels and the bicarbonate levels in your blood so it's either going to be acidosis normal or alkalosis <laughs> and that's how you tell um i'm going to put the link actually because i actually got this table and copied it from a blog that i read all about understanding blood gases and the blog's really, really good if you struggle with blood gases and understanding what's metabolic um, acidosis and what's respiratory acidosis. This is amazing and this blog is amazing. So I'm going to put her link below. Um, her name is Nurse Fred. Hi, Nurse Fred. She's amazing and she does all these little things. And I keep reading her blogs and I'm thinking, oh, that's really good. I really understand this. Yay. Thanks, Nurse Fred. She must be a great mentor to a student nurse if she is. Um, and then... What else have I done? So a bit more about respiratory acidosis, then a bit on metabolic acidosis, a bit about DKA. So in DKA, why you get dehydration, why you get the abdo pain and nausea and vomiting. And what else? The antidiuretic hormone. I've wrote a bit about that because I want to know a little bit more about what happens in DKA and the antidiuretic hormone, which is produced to sort of get your blood volume back up. And that's it, basically. <laughs> So that's all of my flashcards. These are just like revision flashcards. These aren't proper flashcards. I'm going to make some proper flashcards. So when I go out on the wards, I can take them out and use them. But these are just literally revision flashcards that I use and they will be up on my wall at some point when I get a chance. And today, so today is a new week. It's Monday, fresh start. And our deadline for our submission dates is the 31st of August. And this is for our assignments. So the care plan and rationale and my leaflet and rationale. The submission date has finally come. These were the first things I did when when they were launched. So I feel like I've had these waiting to be submitted for a long time now. And I'm so glad it's almost the submission date. But today I'm going over them and I'm going to really critique my own work, if that makes sense. I like to go over and read my own work as if I'm a lecturer or something criticising somebody else's work because it makes me sort of think about what I'm writing and really analyse my own writing. Does that make sense? This is what I did for my last assignment and I felt like it really helped. It sounds really strange, but I managed to do it somehow. <laughs> morning everyone so I'm currently on my way to my bank shift it's Saturday which means I'm at the Edgerton clinic which means we're gonna have breakfast so usually we meet about an hour earlier so that we can have a fry up breakfast and it's really really good and it's just nice it's a nice start to the day to get together with your colleagues and enjoy breakfast together so um, I'm really looking forward to that I can't wait it makes my day we'll just meet up and have a laugh, do you know what I mean, before you start. It's really nice. Also, who turned, to, who turned down the temperature? It's absolutely freezing. I've had to put my winter jacket on, but I've got my tea and hopefully it's gonna be a great day. Morning, everyone. Although by the time this is posted, it's probably gonna be afternoon. So today is actually Sunday, the day I'm posting this vlog. <laughs> Yay. Um, I don't, it's rare a vlog on the same day as I post it because by the time it's uploaded and stuff, it's just, yeah it's the next day. <laughs> I have wi-fi issues. So today I've got a day off and I'm off tomorrow as well so I'm going over to Milton Keynes to see my friend Taylor. Yeah! Main reason I'm doing this vlog today is to tell you all about my blood test results. I forgot to update you on Friday. So the doctor called me on Friday and um, she said to me there's nothing, absolutely nothing, no low iron, no thyroid, nothing, which is good, which is good news. However, the downside to this, 
it means I'm burnt out. It means I'm literally mentally exhausted from the amount of time and effort I put into absolutely everything in my life. And I don't just do, as some of you might know that are watching this, I don't just do my uni stuff. I do a lot outside of uni, around uni, to do with nursing and just extra activities that I don't need to do. But it's something I really enjoy doing and I love doing and I get involved with everything possible because I want to make the most of these three years. But now I'm thinking, do you know what, I need to take just some time out relax and just recharge my batteries because I am feeling the burn right now. So another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 minutes of mindfulness every single day without fail because it's literally 10 minutes of a day and if I can't squeeze in 10 minutes for myself and my mind, what the hell. <laughs> so I'm going to yeah, take 10 minutes, do 10 minutes of meditation, clear the mind, literally just relax it, concentrate on myself, my body, what my body's telling me, and hopefully I'm going to be alright. I'm also going to overdose on vitamins and fresh fruit and vegetables and all that jazz because you have to heal your body, you know, inside out. So yeah, so that's it. I am burnt out. That is the doctor's conclusion. So yeah, so that's it. I have a diagnosis of burnout. Every student nurse's nightmare. I don't know what I'd rather. Do you know what? I think I would rather <laughs> lack of iron. <laughs> Just lack of iron, plow me up, get me strong again, back on it. But now I know that I'm actually burnt out and doing too much, I have to actually seriously think about taking some time out and just slowing it down and just switching my brain off because my brain works 24 7 until i'm upstairs asleep in my bed i need to learn to completely switch it off and just relax myself and then hopefully i'll be okay um so yeah I might not look like i'm burnt out right now because i'm smiling i'm happy but inside my brain it's exhausting <laughs> just to let you know i i am I am proper feeling exhausted and I've done my four bank shifts this week and I think I've told everybody, I was like, I feel exhausted guys, because they were like, oh, how's your nursing going? And I was like, I'm exhausted, I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but the good news is I'm happy, I'm positive about it, if you can be such a thing. At least I know what it is, I know what I can do to solve it and I need to take my own advice on board. And I've done it myself, I'm doing it myself, I'm a hypocrite. I'm really sorry guys, I'm a hypocrite. So I'm gonna take some time out for myself and hopefully I'll be feeling fine by the end of the year. So that's it for this week. What have I got in store for next week? So next week is the start of our community scoping experience and I'm really excited. I've got a couple of things booked in. I've got coroner's court booked in. I've actually got a meeting at uni all day so I've managed to squeeze that in. I've got a day off for myself to take some time out. I'm going to Friends Fest. Oh my God, I'm going to Friends Fest. How could I forget? Anyone that's a massive Friends fan, I love Friends. I've been a massive Friends fan for years and years since it started. Duh, I feel old. Um, and I love it and I'm going, there's a big friends fest they've got all the set the live set and everything i'm going to put the links below so you can have a look and i'm really excited so i'm going to friends fest in bristol for that this week on friday i'm going to be part of the buds which um is basically activity sessions that are put on for people with dementia and i'm going to go and help out and it's going to be amazing i'm really excited for it i can't wait i don't think i'll be able to vlog from there just because of confidentiality and consent and all of that so but i'll let you know how it goes on the day that's it from me i hope you all have an amazing bank holiday whatever you're doing wherever you are in the world have a great time relax take some time out for yourself don't burn yourself out and yeah see you all next week